Hello, great dear friends, great viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Actually, the adoption and illegal kidnap of Mazen Namde Khan has brought a lot of things to the table. The illegal arrest of Mazen Namde Khan has made a lot of people to come to the terms that Mazen and the Kano and the Biafrans are genuine freedom fighters fighting to restore the peace of their land, nothing else. The illegal adoption of Mazen and the Kano has come to expose a lot of people who pretend that they were fighting for the restoration of Biafra. The illegal adoption of Mazen Namde Kano has come to expose the Nigerian government of the whole atrocities they have committed against innocent people in this contraction country. Because of the illegal adoption of Mazen Namde Kano, Brutai has been exposed. And his collaborators, and they will be facing the law soon. The illegal adoption of Mazen Namde Kano has exposed people like Opos Demma, who has continued to murder innocent people of Igbo extraction. And the illegal arrest of Mazen Namde Kano will also expose more. People who had brought nothing but shame to the Bia France, the Debo Nation, the Bia Frala. The illegal adoption of Mazen Namde Kano has made the United Nations to realize that Mazen Namde Kano is a genuine freedom fighter, a great leader that everybody should respect. And this has made them to call for his unconditional release. The illegal adoption of Mazen Nande Kano has exposed the British government and Katrina Lian of the atrocities they have committed against the Ibo nation in Biafra land. The illegal adoption of Mazen Nande Kano has brought a lot of things, secret things, that is hidden out of the open. Mazen Nande Kano Adoption has exposed Nigerian government. This has made the powers understand that Nigerian government, from the beginning to date, they have murdered innocent people who have done them no wrong. The regard adoption of Mazen Nande Kano has exposed Nigerian government over NSAS massacre both in Lagos State and in River State. This is why Brutai and his collaborators are now going to face charges over the atrocities in criminal court of law. And I believe they are going to mention a lot of people, especially all those governors who has hand in it. Masen Namde Kano Adoption has made the people of Nigeria to realize that they have to fight for their freedom. Mazen Nande Kano has given a lot and nobody should betray. For so many years, the British government has continued to use people to foster the Ibo nation, to massacre the Ibo nation because they are asking for out for freedom. Not that they want to live by force. A referendum was just what they asked for. And I believe the war power has come to understand that British government is of no good. They have come to understand that British government 
has no good intention over the people of Biafra. And this is why they have come to call for my master Nam the Kano Ahamadike unconditionally. I know that Nigerian government will continue to waste their time because this is what they have continued to do best. But no matter what they do, they are going to Dakar. In fact, they are going to Dakar more than those who first Dakar. Because those who have refused to agree will let her agree more than those who first agree. In this struggle, Mazenan de Kano has proven to be someone to reckon with. He has done great things to achieve perfect restoration. He has sacrificed great things, including his family, to achieve the restoration of Piafra. So it will be very bad for someone to commit treason against him. It will be very bad for someone to go against whatever it is he believes in. He has led a bad for Biafrans to lie. He has woken the Biafrans up. He told you why he was out. That time shall come when both to the United Nations, when both to the EU will talk about Biafra. He told you that they will talk about Biafra. And today they are talking about Biafra. Today, they are talking about Biafra. They are talking about him. They are telling the Nigerian government to lead him unconditionally. And believe me, in no time Biafra will be restored. In no time Biafra will be achieved. And it's not going to be late. It's not going to be too late. This is why we are telling you don't sell any of your properties. Protect your land from the hand of these infiltrators. Don't run away from your land no matter what. And don't listen to those who are trying to push you into a war that they are not prepared. For you to prepare for a war, there's a lot of things you have to do. There's a lot of things you have to do. Men like us are willing, ready, today, tomorrow, to confront anybody who thinks that he can comfortable land to murder innocent people no matter how they want it we are ready to give it to them but like I said for you to fight a war you have to be prepared don't allow those who doesn't know anything about the war to deceive you Biafra is here already all you need to right now is patient. Patient and pray for the release of Mazen Namde Kano. And believe me, after his release, Biafra will follow. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. I just gave you a point. Every prophecy of his has come to pass. And the Biafra restoration will also come to pass.
British government are getting tired. And at Angus on, they will be weak because the war powers are beginning to look them somehow. They are beginning to understand that, that what they are doing is not to air the difference, rather, is to cause them more problem. They have come to understand that British government can do anything to keep oil running, and because of this, they have realized what Mazen Namdekalo has been saying on this one. A lot and a lot will happen in time to come. Many people are going to call for his unconditional release, and he's going to be released. Many workers are going to do so, and he's going to be released in time to come. Because he did not commit any crime. United Nations, E. Amnesty International, as a matter of fact, should continue to do the right thing because only the right thing will set us free. Nobody, nobody, I mean, nobody born of a woman can stop the restoration of Biafra. We have to continue to champion it the way he made it until we are left with no other choice. I've said this before, and this is how it is. Now that I've come to the end of the news, please remain blessed as you share. Cheers.